Hey guys, I know it's been a while, almost four weeks now I think, and yeah, but I'm back now. I really had no ideas for tutorials and stuff and also no motivation, but now I'm back again and I will stay fully active if you guys also stay fully active, so yeah, just please like the videos because it really keeps me motivated and I might even upload daily if you want to. <laughs> so yeah, please like my videos, that really keeps me motivated and stuff and it really helps me out. So um... In this tutorial, I wish to cover some nice uh, glitch effects. Basically, one glitch effect. But if you want me to cover more, make more glitch effect tutorials, then yeah, also please like the video so that you can see that you really want the tutorial. Um, otherwise, if you have any t other tutorial requests, then write them in the comments. But before you do that, please check out my playlist and check if I already made that tutorial because I have over 50 tutorials now and covered almost everything. Like I don't know, just check it out. I really it will help you out, trust me. So, um, in this tutorial we'll cover um, effects some people sent me and wanted me to make a tutorial on. So you can see, uh, this effect is used in this edit, I will link that in the description, it's pretty beast, it's made by Baker's Tuts, it's a nice over edit. So, but also people were asking for um, like these overlays, as you can see here. Um, these glitch overlays, they are from, um, like most of them, the people use are from Coop's glitch packs, so also check that out, I will also link that in the description. And be sure to subscribe to both of them, because they produce pretty good content. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Oh yeah, the, fir um, the effect I want to show you now is basically like a broken pieces effect, like it's, um, like this effect. It zooms in on the kill feed and it's just like, looks like a broken, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it yet. But, um, it looks pretty nice. Um, so that effect is actually pretty easy to create. So the first thing you want to do is create a new adjustment layer. And then add the effect magnify. Under, under this distort magnify. So drag that onto your um, glitch adjustment layer. And then bring up the size to above like 700, 800, I don't know. So that it covers the whole uh, screen. So then um, what you want to do is mask out the, grab your pen tool and mask out the part that you want um, to be magnified. So in this case, yeah, let's just say, um, yeah, the kill feed, like in that edit. So like that make it visible again. So then you can always go there and play around with the magnification and stuff. And yeah, let's just keep it at 150. Another thing you can do is play around with the uh, center. What you could do is add a simple wiggle expression so that it is a bit shaking and stuff. So let's just do that. I don't know, let's say 2 comma 400 or something. Let's just check if that looks good. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty. No, that's too much. I think two comma, let's say one hundred, or three comma one hundred. Sorry for that. But you can uh, use your own settings. So basically, the first number is um, how fast it um, moves, and the second number is uh, the amount it moves. So um, that means three times per second it moves um, by one hundred. So, um, what you want to do then is, uh, yeah, you should also uh, sync these effects to your uh, music because, yeah, otherwise it doesn't look that good, but, um, yeah, I think you should be able to do that on your own. So you just keyframe the opacity when you want it to appear. So in this case, let's just make it start. Oh no, I didn't synchronize this to anything, like there's no song or anything. Let's just say um, over here after the kill feed, and then you want it to um, to appear. So you go there, and you could uh, you could um, keyframe the magnification from zero to whatever you want to. But if you later want to add any more effects to these uh, this layer, let's say twitch or something, or maybe some curves to uh, color this broken piece, then you would have to um, make keyframes for that separately. So because we want it to be easy now, we just uh, keyframe the opacity, so press T for opacity, bring it down to zero, then go forward one frame, 
bring it up to 100 and it also looks good if you like um, on these frames where it appears you add some like flashes and stuff and some other glitch effects so yeah as I said if you want more glitch effects then just write it in the comments and like the video so um, I definitely have like five or six more nice effects so yeah I think after this tutorial I will instantly uh, like directly record the other tutorials and then just upload them when I get like 500 likes or something so yeah and thanks for your support again so what you want to do now is um, so basically it went from 0 to 100 now and what you can do now is uh, keyframe the position of it and like the rotation so let's say if you have more than one piece so let's maybe add one more piece like that small one then you could um, go there and um, just rotate the whole adjustment layer or something but I wouldn't do that um, I would uh, keyframe the mask path um, sorry so let's just make a keyframe here um, uh, just press M for mask path and then just uh, let's just rotate this and scale it up a bit. By the way, if you want to know how to how masking works and stuff, then check out my advanced masking tutorial. I think that that should help you out. So then go uh, forward a few frames. I won't tell you like go forward three frames and then do that because it really depends on what you want and what you want it to look like and stuff. So I'm just just doing some random stuff here. You can always do something else. And then just go forward another few frames and make it move again. And maybe make this keyframe easy ease by pressing F9. But you really don't need to do that. Um, so uh, basically, you could also make this like uh, flicker, like appear for one frame, then disappear, then appear somewhere else. But if you wanted, um, like people wanted it to be in this video, uh, there it appeared after after the quad feed, and then uh, it just stays there to put the focus on the kill feed. So if you want to do that, then just let it be there for a few more frames. Then you, when you want it to disappear, just key from the opacity again, or you just start with your transition, like in the video. You see, there's like some wipe transitions going on. And the next clip appears. So <clears throat> let me just preview this for you. Seven minutes, okay, pretty nice. And yeah, as I said, uh, if you want more tutorials on glitch effects, just write in, in the comments. I'm also planning on making a series on transitions in After Effects. So yeah, of course, with music and stuff, this would look better. And if you add some more glitch effects, so yeah, as I let me just show that thing to you. So now you could go there and add some other random uh, glitch effects. I will show you more in the, the future tutorials, but of course, of course, there is Twitch. Well, it's on the weird. Um, so let's just apply some Twitch. And maybe some slide for RGB split. <coughs> Bring down the slide to, let's say, amount 3 and RGB split to uh, 40. And now uh, there will be some twitch going on. Looks pretty nice. Another thing you could do is add a little bit of tint, maybe, so that everything is a bit black and white. Then drag that above your twitch layer so that there's still some RGB split going on. Let's just preview this again. So um, yeah, also if you <coughs> yeah already mentioned that, but if if you right now have any questions or uh, tutorial requests, then just write them in the comments. And be sure to check out my all tutorials playlist. So this is pretty nice so far, I think. Um, you could always play around with the masks, add some more masks and make it move more, rotate, whatever you want to, feel free. So. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Please like it and check out my other tutorials. And if you are new and never saw my tutorials again, then go ahead and subscribe. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye.